I'm Henrik Mkhitaryan and this is my story. I think the first thing was that I've seen player playing my father. He was a football player as well, so he was my drive. And because of him, I started to be interested in football and uh, trying to become a football player. I couldn't realize what was that time and uh, what he was for me as a football hero. But uh, then uh, when we came to Armenia, after when he passed away, um, I've listened to many people talking about him, saying good things about him. And then I realized that he was a good football player and a good person. Even going to Brazil in 13 years old, it was not very easy. Far away from home, far away from your parents and families. But um, of course, uh, the only thing that you had to understand is if you want to become a football player, you have to handle it. And um, uh, hopefully I wasn't on my own there. I still had three teammates uh, flying from Armenia and one coach. Uh, it was very interesting. Uh, why? Because um, it's a different culture. So comparing the Armenian football culture to the Brazilian football culture, culture is totally different. They had a very like uh, interesting uh, stuff during the training saying that uh, today the training will be only with left foot, so only with right foot. So or maybe only shooting training or running, so it was quite different. And uh, of course, like having uh, teammates more skillful, you could have learned more from the, more from there. And besides that, uh, I was as well like uh, going to school in Brazil. I was like improving my Portuguese language. And um, yeah, we could have uh, seen the difference between two countries and um, I've learned a lot from there. Uh, first of all, when I went to Ukraine, it was uh, Metlarodonetsk and uh, we, I think we had just one Brazilian player called Fabinho and uh, we had a few Portuguese players and uh, yeah, the rest were international as well, but um, yeah, I was trying to communicate with them in a Portu Portuguese language. It was not easy because uh, I've forgotten and uh, it, w it wasn't like very easy to talk to them because, you know, it's a bit even different. Uh, the guys that like lives in Portugal and in Brazil with, with their accent and spelling. So, but I was trying to remember the words, I was trying to remember like, and to bring back the language, but after it was hard. And when I went to Shakhtar Donetsk, it became a bit easier because I had like 12 Brazilians around me. So whatever you were going, whatever you were doing, you had Brazilians, so you had to to remember the language and uh, to, to talk to them. I wasn't thinking that I'm going to break a record there. Um, the most important was that um, the team was playing very offensive and like we had not too many opponents like that couldn't play on the same level that we did. And uh, it was very easy for me to score goals because uh, the only thing that I I should have done it, it's to get the right position in the right time and to put the ball in the net. So, because I had uh, from the right side uh, Douglas Costa, from the left side William, behind me I had Fernandinho, front me I, I had Luis Adriano, so it was very easy to play uh, alongside with them and to understand the way that they want to play. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. Uh, for that time, like 27.5 million was too much money, but now it's nothing. So when I uh, just uh, transferred from Shakhtar to, to Dortmund, everyone keeps saying that ah, we've paid a lot of money. It's a, it's a lot of money, and this, this. Um, I've put it, my, I've put it pressure on myself as well. But then I realized that it's not the best way. So the, the only thing that I have to do is to to forget about that that numbers and to be focused on the football because it's not it's not me that I've asked. 27 million for myself is the club that I've played for. They did it this, uh, these numbers. Even under Klopp I was playing good football, but it was uh, difficult in my second year because the team was struggling as well. But when Thomas Tuchel came, he gave me the same confidence as I had at the beginning with Klopp. And um, I was very happy because he could uh, convince me to, to believe in myself and in my strength that I had. And that's why I could have uh, been in a, in a new level of my football career and I'm thankful to him. It 
was my dream to play for uh, English Premier League. Uh, I knew that the league is very tough and uh, I was ready for this challenge uh, because I reached everything in Ukraine, in Germany, so I wanted to, to try myself in a new chapter, in the new challenge as well. So I've chosen to, to come to Manchester United uh, and try my, uh, my strength here. It was a bit difficult at the beginning, but then I, uh, I could settle down and uh, get a good performance. Every, every player has ups and downs. There is no football life without that. And uh, I was ready for it. And I've never complained or find an excuse saying that uh, why I'm not playing, why I'm having difficulties. No, it's, it's part of your life, it's part of football, and you have to be ready for it. And uh, I was. Even when I wasn't playing, I was still keep smiling and uh, doing some jokes, waiting for my next opportunity because I knew that one day it will come. When I've heard that uh, I can swap Manchester United for Arsenal, I was saying, yes, I want to do that. Uh, I wasn't even thinking twice or thinking that maybe I don't have to go or I don't have to leave. I said, no, I, I want to go, I want to have more playing time. I want, to, I want to enjoy playing attacking football, offensive football, and uh, I did the right decision coming here. I didn't come here to, re to replace anyone. I mean, uh, everyone keeps saying that uh, I've been a part of a deal of Alexis, Alexis Sanchez, but it's not true because he was running out of the contract. And uh, if I wouldn't choose to come to Arsenal, he would stay in Arsenal until summer. So it was everything up to me. I'm not saying that I was important in this aspect, but uh, I want to make sure everything to, to make understand everyone that uh, I wasn't part of a deal of Alexis Sanchez. I came to Arsenal because uh, Arsene Wenger wanted me. It's not because he wanted to replace me. And um, we're different players, we're different uh, character, we're having different characters, we're having different abilities and skills. So I will try to do my best for the club to achieve uh, as much as we can. I want to leave my name uh, in Arsenal. As a, as a legend, because uh, it's not it's not easy to to come to a team where you have been dreaming all your child when you were a child. And uh, of course, I will be very happy to to leave my name as a legend here, to make fans happy, to to achieve a lot uh, with this club, and uh, to do my best to to win trophies, to score goals, and to assist.